Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to switch your list settings in Aweber from having a double opt-in set to a single opt-in or vice versa. Now if you don't know the difference between the two, a double opt-in on your list setting in Aweber means that when somebody goes to your website and they put in their email address and hit submit, they will be redirected to a page that says that they need to confirm their email address. And they need to do that first before any other action takes place. And so in this example on my website, I'm giving away this free copy of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Affiliate Marketing that I wrote not too long ago. When you go to this website and enter your name and, inf name and email address and hit submit, uh, you'll be directed to confirm your email address. Uh, and that is called a double opt-in, okay? But let's say you didn't want to do that. Let's just say somebody who puts in their name and email address here and they click the button, they'll go directly to the page where they can get the information that's being requested. That is called a single opt-in. Now there are pros and cons uh, to each <laughs> method. I personally like the double opt-in feature a little bit better uh, because it just gives you a better quality of lead and lets you get email addresses that are real and uh, people are more likely to engage with what you have to send them, okay? But either way, in Aweber, it's automatically defaulted for your lists to be set to a double opt-in. So if you want to turn off that feature, you need to go into the list settings and turn it off. And so I'm logged in here to Aweber, and you just want to make sure that the list that you're dealing with is selected up here at the top. So you can see that I have this list that is active that says training list demo or training demo list and if you click on it you can select any of your other active lists that you may have so you just need to make sure the one that you're working with is selected I'm gonna leave it here on this training demo list and then once you click on it you just come down here where it says manage lists so okay we'll click on that and then we'll pull up all of your active lists and you just select the one that you want to work with so I'm gonna click on training demo list and then from here, they have these three different setting options. So we're gonna just go to the one that says confirmation message. And then down here, below the confirmation settings, uh, well, we have this confirmation settings right here. So you can see that these are turned on currently, meaning that it's a double opt-in. So it says send confirmation for Aweber signup forms, send a confirmation for subscribers added via API. So to turn off the double opt-in, we just click on the button here to switch it off. And then we click on save all settings. And that's it. That's how you turn it off and on between a double opt-in and a single opt-in. So you can use it either way and you can probably test it out to see which way is best and which way is worse for you and your business. And so I hope you found that information valuable. And if you uh, need more tips and trips relating to Aweber, subscribe to my channel. And we provide uh, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Be sure to give this a thumbs up and like it below as well. And if you want to, go ahead and go to my website, ProfitCyclePlan.com. And that will take you to go get this free copy of the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to Affiliate Marketing, where you can discover how to make money by referring others to products and services they already want. All right, hope you have a great day and never ever give up on your dreams. Bye for now.